the associative and commutative laws of algebra and uh, introduce them in the context of what we've been learning in class. Just a reminder that the this video and others like it are available at the school's YouTube channel at this address down the bottom here. So the first thing to get through um, your heads is that the big words of associative and commutative are not that important. What's important is you understand what they do as opposed to how to spell the words. The associative laws, which is where we'll begin, say that it doesn't matter how you group the numbers when you add or when you multiply. Okay. Now most of you will understand this from primary school mathematics. It's not a big or um, convoluted concept. What's new is the labels that we're giving to it, associative and commutative law. It doesn't matter in what order you calculate. For example, have a look at what's down here. 2 plus 4 plus 5. Now we work on the brackets first using bod mass. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. 6 plus 5 equals 11. Over here we've done rather than 2 and the 4 being put together we've done 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 plus 2 also equals 11. It doesn't matter how you add these up you're always going to get the answer 11. With multiplication the same thing. 2 times 4 equals 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. Over here, 4 times 3 equals 12, 2 times 12 equals 24. The thing to get and to understand is that 24, the answer, is always the same. Now for commutative. The commutative law says that you can swap numbers when you add or when you multiply. For example, a plus b is equal to b plus a. Let's do an example. Say that we had one dot there a second dot there and a third dot there and we were going to add to that one dot here, one dot here, one dot here like that. Now that is the same as doing the five dots here plusing the three dots next. You still get the same answer. Five, three dots plus five dots equals eight dots 3 plus 5 equals 5 plus 3. It doesn't matter how you draw it, you still get the same answer. That's called the commutative law. With multiplication, it's much the same. You guys know that 2 times 3 equals 6. You also know that 6 is equal to 3 times 2. With a longer sum, we could do 4 times 5 times 3 4 times 5 equals 20, 20 times 3 equals 60. We could also do 3 times 5 equals 15, and 15 times 4 equals 60 as well. It doesn't matter in which order they are, the answer always remains the same. So once more, just quickly, the associative and commutative laws. The associative law says that it doesn't matter how you group the numbers when you add or when you multiply. It doesn't matter which way you do them, when you're adding or when you're multiplying. Commutative says that you can swap them around wherever you need to. A times B equals B times A, just as A plus B equals B plus A.